hi everyone today in this video tutorial i am going to take you all through the process of installing android marshmallow on a thumb drive uh, so that you can boot any pc with the thumb drive or uh, by this procedure you can even run uh, android marshmallow in your uh, virtual box as well the process is almost same so for this what you need is basically uh, two thumb drives one a lower capacity say one gigs or two gigs and another one a larger one uh, say 816 or even say even 32 gigs and of course you need a uh, basic software the android uh, image the android x86 can be downloaded from the official site i have given the download links in the description of this video so that apart you need another software for creating the image i'm using the universal usb installer here and again the download links can be found in the uh, description of this video so let us get started choose android and browse the iso file click ok and choose the lower uh, capacity uh, thumb drive format it and click create choose yes So this process is complete now let us close this so now you need to create a .pmdk file of the usb drive that contains the installation image run a command prompt as admin i have already made a video of this uh, this is going to be really fast please refer to the video titled as to how you can create a bootable usb for a virtual box for this part uh, here you can either click on the annotation or on the link in the description of this video Now run uh, virtual box manager as an administrator, choose new Android Linux Linux 2.6 and according to your uh, CPU architecture uh, 64 bit or a 32 bit minus 64 bit so I am choosing uh, 64 bit click next and allocate the RAM according to your uh, feasibility click next choose existing virtual hard disk image and choose the file that you just created click create and click start and now under devices usb click, uh, go into the uh, usb uh, and choose the second uh, pen drive onto which you want to install the android image as soon as you click on that it will get disconnected from here see if you uncheck this you can see that it is connected back here and if you check that back it gets connected to the virtual box Okay, so now choose uh, install android x86 choose create or modify partitions choose removable yes choose the thumb drive choose write so just note the partition number here it says uh, part 5 and this is the part 5 in TFS choose ok and choose the desired uh, format say I would choose in TFS choose yes install bootloader grub choose yes yeah. 
and now it says the installer is going to create a disk image to save the user data at least uh, 512 mb free disk space is recommended choose yes say you need a user data space right so i would say 1024 And now you will get a uh, message saying it is just syncing to disk. Uh, the process just automated from now on. So now it says uh, Android x86 is installed successfully. So what you have uh, with you now is the Android OS installed on the USB. You can just plug this USB onto the PC and boot the Android OS or make some changes to the existing Android uh, virtual box uh, machine to boot the android os in the uh, virtual box i'll be making a video in uh, coming days as to how you can uh, run the android in your virtual box i hope this is uh, useful and informative and if you feel so please subscribe for more such videos thank you